We went and visited the fourth grade classroom at the school here and we read a book to them and had them answer some comprehensive questions as well as just some questions about what lessons they could learn from the books and um, what they can take away. And then we also had a Q&A session where they asked us questions. Um, we read about Wilma, who is a um, athlete who went through some trials at the beginning of her life and worked through those in order to be able to win three Olympic gold medals in the 1960 Olympics. Um, I was surprised they were actually really quiet while we were reading the story, which was awesome. Um, so they were very good at listening and then they were very excited to ask us questions and um, get our input on just what's the longest word we've ever spelled, but also what's the hardest thing we've ever overcome. So um, I think it's so important just to visit, like visit communities and visit the kids around the school because it's, I think it's awesome for them to see us come up in front and, you know, be able to contribute to their learning in their classroom and also see how much um, we value our learning at CU as well as um, living life as a student athlete. So I think that it's a very good example for those kids to see. So we came uh, to this fourth grade class and we, we read a book on Wilma. Uh, she actually had polio on her left leg when she was a child and overcame it and ended up going to the Olympic trials in 1960 and winning three gold medals. We asked them a lot of questions at the end. I mean, they, uh, they asked us questions and they were actually really intelligent. Uh, it kind of caught me off guard with some of the questions they asked us. It helps us go into their learning environment and show them actually what we do in our daily life to overcome our schedule and help them better themselves as a child and maybe future if they want to pursue their dreams in athletics. It's kind of cool. It's, it's definitely a humbling experience. I would like to do it more often actually.